Hello, my name is Jimmy Chong. I'm a certified personal trainer from American Council of Exercise, Auto Shop Ace. Today I want to talk about ventilation unit and zone training. These are useful concepts to grasp when you go about doing your cardiovascular training. Cardiovascular training or aerobic training is a type of exercise that increases the endurance of skeletal muscle by making the distribution of oxygen by the heart more efficient. Cardio is a great way to lose weight and keep it off by burning lots of calories. So what is ventilation unit or BA, or sorry, or BT in short? To understand this, we need to know our ventilatory system responses to the intensity of exercise. The more you stretch its limit, the more breathless you will become in the particular state of your training. It's as simple as that. Now, ventilation limit can be broken down into two tiers. First tier, that's at BT1. Most people will likely to experience difficulty in speaking during the training. When they start experiencing impossibility to speak, they enter into BT2. So as you can see, the way to get the best out of your cardiovascular training is to have a good handle over these two thresholds in order to achieve your targeted outcome. To incorporate the above concept into the training format, we can now imagine stepping up the intensity level with the help of breaking up our exercise regime into three zones. Zone 1 is where you are exercising under VT1 threshold. And zone 2 needs to be somewhere between VT1 and VT2 levels. At zone 3, you will be pushing at VT2 level and above. So there you are. You have understood how ventilation limit and zoning your exercise can help. Now have a go with it. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you again. Hello again. My name is Jimmy Chong. I'm a certified personal trainer from American Council of Exercise or in short AIDS. Now if you have watched my videos uh, on ventilation limit and zone training, I want to give you now an example of a running program that can just incorporate those concepts you have learned. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, I've been devising a way to limit the exposure and get able to reach the same intensity level of my outdoor cardiovascular running regime that will otherwise incur a much longer time and miles. I chose upon this one mile, 10 minutes run, which can pack all the gist in it. First, I start to pick a running terrain that has an elevation of say uh, 60 to 70 meters. This marks the first leg of resilient training under a stretch of 800 meters or half a mile. The return leg, which is over the same runway, becomes a rewarding experience as you will be running on the outslope. Now you need to have a fitness tracking smart advice or the apps to measure all the metrics. I use Smart Health apps that's available in my Android phone. As you can see, the chart on my left, I'm running at a pace of below BT1 or ventilation limit 1 at zone 1, which marks the beginning ascension of the upslope. This is the level I'm still quite comfortable to talk to my, perhaps my run mate alongside uh, my running. As soon as I cross zone 2, I will be experiencing difficulty to talk as my ascension to the top of the slope continues. All this while maintaining at a pace of slightly below 10 km per hour at the same time. The intensity will continue to build up until I reach top of the slope, which also marks the return leg of the down slope. By this time, you should already cross VT1 and enter VT2. You start to open up your strides riding on the reward of the downward uh, elevation. Just at the last 100 and 200 meters or so, do an extreme, uh, extreme sprint at the level where you're literally unable to talk. Your heart pumps harder and you exhaust all the phosphation energy as you race to the end point. Now, remember, there is a reason why we are keeping the last verse to the final lap, that is at zone 3 as it is supposed to only last one or two minutes in duration, especially if you're running above 10 km per hour. 
Try to time your completion of the above rounding program within 10 minutes. See how fast you can go and the boundary you can push over this bridge round. I'm sure you will enjoy it as you break new ground. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching my video. Hope to see you again.